Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make the automated bidder even faster today. So I'm just going to demonstrate it on this collection. Uh, I think there is currently some bids going on on this. So I'm just going to bid a little bit higher than this guy. And I'm going to do competitive bidding while making it super fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start with picking that collection on our system, Acrocalypse. I will actually add it more than once. I will make six threads, six uh, parallel working threads. So I'm just going to open another tab and in that tab, I'm going to pick Acrocalypse or Acrocalypse again. So uh, let me put them all together. Right. So as you notice, there are 10,000 assets here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, I'm going to divide it into six pieces. So it's going to be almost 1500 for each one. So this will start from 1500, uh, 0 to 1500, 1500 to 3000, uh, 3000 to let's make it 5000. <coughs> Here I will uh, keep it dividing 5000 to 6500, 6500 to 8000, and then finally 8000 to 10,000. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate the uh, competitive bidding so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell the system to make my default bid 0.08 so this is what the system is going to bid if there is no existing bids on it or if 0.08 is already above the highest bid that is currently on the nft however i am okay with going up to as high as 0.012 so i want the system to adjust my value depending on the existing bits, bits on the NFT between these values. Expire time is one hour. If you click on this, the system is only going to bid on the uh, currently listed NFTs. Here you can select the trades, heads, whatever. I'm not interested in that right now. Uh, I will enter the same values in the other one. So let's put this here. And I think it was 0.08, right? So this is uh, for this method. The first method you are not going to use the private key. What you are going to do is you are basically going to uh, press the submit button and submit button here again. Now you will see the MetaMask popping up. Uh, I'm going to use the mouse clicker. Let me do it from scratch for you. Uh, I'm going to pick first this location then i'm going to pick this location and i want the system to click on this every one second you can change it but you can actually go below one second but one second is fine so now you will see it running it's quite fast like it's not as fast as private key bidding but it's still fast the only downside of this is the clicker is taking over your computer obviously because it has to click otherwise you have to do it with your hand but then you will have to do it thousands of times uh, however, if you do this with the private key method that I'm going to demonstrate in a second, then actually uh, you can still use your computer. I think that's enough. Uh, let's go check my bits. Uh, sometimes OpenSea is a little bit slow. Sometimes OpenSea is a little bit slow with refreshing, but here you see. So my initial bit was 0.08. You see this system has adjusted it to... Uh, where did it go to 0.12 or some 0.11 or something you can always see uh, yeah let's, let, let's pick this one for instance you will see that if there's an existing bit it's going to adjust it so this one and this one are different because probably the existing bits on the nft on these nfts were different as well so you see it's my high this is my highest offer so this guy was beneath me his bit was 0.0 uh, 11 something so mine is a little bit above that one right you see it okay so this was the private uh, this was the competitive bidding with uh, clicking right so I'm just going to stop this <coughs> and I'm going to stop bits here again and I'm going to clear the already outstanding uh, signature requests all right so, uh, with the private key bidding method, you can still do the same. Uh, you can open multiple tabs and you can run it simultaneously. So, I'm just going to click the uh, toggle the private key button on. 
Um, just make sure that when you uh, stop bits, it basically refreshes the page. So the settings here will be the same as this one. So I will have to just adjust this again. Uh, this one was starting from 5000 to 600 and 500, 600 to, so to 8000 and then finally 8000 to 10,000. It's the same settings, it is still competitive. If you turn off competitive, uh, it's going to be even faster, but I don't think you need it because it's already super fast. So let me export my private key here. Uh, this is, by the way, guys, an advanced thing to do. So make sure you are using a burner wallet if you are exporting your private key and using it on any other website, including us. Uh, this is the private key, by the way, not the secret phrase. So some people are getting confused. Uh, so I'm just going to type it here. And you know what? Let's submit. Check my uh, inputs for one last time. Everything seems good. Right, okay, let's submit it. And now the system is going to actually run in the background. So the main difference is the speed and the automation. This is faster and this runs in the background so it doesn't take over your computer. Uh, let's see, let's check the OpenSea uh, activity page again. You can also check this on your own activity page, which is here. You will click on the bits. You will see that this is, they are all competitive, as you see, the bits are changing and they are all flowing. All right, guys, I hope you like how the system works. By the way, you can open even more tabs and make it even more faster. But I think running six threads simultaneously is, is, is you, I, I, I stick there. I mean, if there is too many requests you are sending at the same time, your computer uh, might not handle it or on the open c side open c uh, might get throttled so i'm usually sticking with six at the same time you you are welcome to test more at the same time but uh, i think i would recommend not going over six but it's up to you just you try it yourself and see anyway guys have a good one I hope you like how we are developing the system if you have any suggestions feel free to ask any of them in discord and I wish you happy trades and happy flips.